up. Hey, everybody. Okay, okay today, this is my lab class. Today, we're going to crack this geode open. Everybody, I'm Mr. Bolton. Today, we're going to crack open a geode. Now, the thing that you want to look for with a geode is that it rattles if you shake it. Do you know what that means if it rattles when you shake it? It moves. What moves? It. What's it? It's a geode. Something inside of it moves. That means that it's hollow. If you take a geode and cut it, and here's a couple geodes that I've cut, like this little one here, I grinded the, away the sides of the wall so you can see the little cave that's inside of there. Here's a piece of geode that was sliced, and it kind of looks like a set of lips, hmm. right? But this one was sliced, and you can see that there's a hollow space inside. If it grows all the way through, then you'll still see crystals, but it's really hard to crack it open, one. And two, it's not going to be quite as awesome as having that hollow cavity. You see, you see the inside. See, crystals will form inside of geodes. This is like a little cave. Got this one. We have a claw foot hammer. Fencing pliers, which have a hammer-like function there. You know, you could tap it away with this. We've got a ball peen hammer, three-pound ball peen hammer. Which one would you use to crack this open with? Ball peen. Why? Because it's the heaviest. Yeah, it's going to have the most momentum. Would I use the flat side or would I use the rounded side? Flat side. Why? Is that what I want? No. I, I'm going to. Well, we can try it both ways, but what I think. I'm going to want to use is the ball peen side because it that rounded edge means that it's going to make contact with a much smaller space. It's just the point where it actually hits and all that pressure is going to be concentrated right there. Did we ever show you the spheres when we brought them together and burned holes in paper? Yes. Yeah. The reason why that works is it's two spheres. All right. So here we go. I'll take a swing at this thing. There's a weak point right there. I'm not sure how hard I'm going to have to hit this. I'm not like an expert, but we'll see. Ready? One, two. Can I hit it? Yeah, okay. We'll, we'll let you have a chance. I'll, I'll do it one more time. One, two. Um, well, there we go. I call those chondrites. Those are like round crystals. Look inside of it. You can see the different layers and the way that that build up. And the inside of it actually has rust, a uh, mineral that I would call hemo. Cool. All right. Let's uh, let's rinse one of these off. Mm, nasty. Well, they All right, so now the reason why I used the rounded side of the ball peen hammer was because the point of contact on these rounded surfaces is much smaller. With these two spheres, the energy is concentrated at such a tiny point that if you hit them together, just make sure your finger's not in the middle of that. If you hit them together, hit it kind of hard. Go ahead, sure. Yeah, look at that. It actually burns a hole through that. Now I know that you can't smell it, Mm. But it smells like burnt paper. Yeah. Go ahead, smack away. Just don't hit my finger. Yeah, that's it. Nice job. And it burns a hole through the paper. Mmm. Pressure. Yummy. Yeah, it puts force on things. 
barbecue. All right, anybody else that wants to try it? Okay. We expect all that stuff. Could somebody find him? Okay, and then we'll show the principle of the... Uh, it looks like a little beads inside. It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.